Hello friends, my name is Ritu Sachdev. Ever face difficulty in making your web pages responsive? Well, I have a solution. It's Bootstrap. Bootstrap helps you to create your web pages responsive. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can apply Bootstrap to your documents. It's not only the responsiveness, guys. It helps you to create tooltips, popovers, navigation, jumbotron layout, so many things. Here I will show you how you can apply Bootstrap in your document. Well guys, here I have already opened up my code editor. You can use any code editor. I am here with Dreamweaver CS6. You can use any code editor you like. So, simply here I have opened the HTML5 document. And let's save it up first. So, I will save in a local folder which I have created with the name of my bootstrap. Right? So, let's save it up. Installing Bootstrap. Here we go. Now, to link up these bootstrap files, let's go to the official website. It's here, getbootstrap.com. So friends, it's the official website. This is the home page. You can see here we have currently version 4.4.1. And here we have the download button. So simply I can click over here to download this version. And you can have earlier versions if you want. You see here we have this drop down. Right? So simply let's click on the download instead of get started as we want to have this bootstrap in our document. So download. See here we have compiled CSS and JS file and the download button. When I will hit the download I will have this bundle of files in my local folder. But when I scroll down, down here I have source file. When I scroll more, here we have bootstrap CDN. CDN means somewhere these files are kept on the network, on server. We can skip the download and use the CDN. Things will go as usual. For now, I am just copying up the actual file, not the minified version. See, here we go. Uh, I will copy this junk of code here and go to my Dreamweaver document in the head section. I will paste up this junk of code. Let's save this all up. The moment I saved up my file, you see here I have bootstrap.min.css and bootstrap.min.js. Right? These are the remote files and cannot be edited. As I am using the CDN version. So let's see if this bootstrap CDN is working or not. Let me go to the site at bootstrap.com and in the components I will go to buttons. Just we are testing our things are working or not. So simply I will copy this junk of code for the buttons. And I will have this type of buttons. So let's paste it up. Here we go. Let's save up and let's preview our document. See these are our buttons. Right? It means the bootstrap is working properly. Let me save it up and refresh my this page. You see, these are the simple HTML CSS based buttons. See, simply with the button tag and this is the tag primary and these classes are not applied as these classes are predefined in bootstrap. So, let's have our files again. Save it up. Here we go. So CDN is working properly. Now, let's see how to download these files in our document. To have that, 
let's again go to our this getbootstrap.com and go to the download page simply here I will click compile CSS and JS when I hit download here you can see it's downloading and this download folder has been already opened here open this dist file it has created zipped file you can see bootstrap 4.4.1.dist simply I will click it here and you can unzip also these files and again I will open this folder and you can see CSS and JS file there here we have when I open CSS there are bundle of files here this is the minified version this is the bootstrap.css simply same way here we have JS folder here we have bootstrap.js and here we have bootstrap.min so let's copy this CSS and JS version to our local folder wherever you have your local folder here I have my local folder let me copy these CSS and JS files over here now let's link up this file to our document so you can edit these files also right now we don't need this junk of code now let's code our document link href browse the file css1 it's bootstrap.css right in the css folder type is equal to text.css relation it's a style sheet right now let's have the javascript file script src let's, let's browse the file here we go here is bootstrap.js right here we go in the js folder let's close this file let's close close this script tag let's go to our getbootstrap.com once more see notice guys here we have the message this doesn't include documentation source file or any optional javascript dependencies jquery or popper.js so if you want to use this bootstrap.js essentially you need to link up the jquery file then only things will go perfectly if you are using some javascript you need to use the jquery file so let me show you that thing also so to have that jquery file simply you have to go to the official website here jquery.com you see version 3.4.1 is running so when I will click here let's go for this download the compressed production jquery 3.4.1 let's open it up and simply I will have the save as button and save it up in my local folder right see here we go right let's shift this file in a js folder it's a javascript based so let it go there now above this bootstrap.js we have to link up that file simply again with the script tag
here we have jquery minified right here we go now to see if again bootstrap is working properly or not let's preview this file again we have we already have the buttons here so and we have this bootstrap.css now locally and jquery file and the bootstrap.js right so now we can completely edit this file also right these are the predefined classes over here and let's preview now we go we have this buttons so things are working perfectly so guys this was all about installing bootstrap in your document so this is done friends and if you like this video of mine do thumbs it up do not forget to subscribe me and if you want to learn these subjects directly from me do contact me have a good day bye bye